about the base. I'm Lee. I'm Cece. Thanks for joining us. Join, joining us. Joining us. I can speak joining words. Us. I can do that. <laughs> With this beautiful, beautiful new additions to the base range here, so uh, I, I'm I'm pretty unfamiliar with Sadowski. Sadowski. Yeah, uh, I say Sadowski, but Sadowski. that might be wrong. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you know, potato, one potato. This is actually my very first time playing one. So. Absolutely, same here, same here. Yeah, and and I mean, this is something that's brand new, brand new to Andertons, um, brand new to, to Sadowski um, as well, where they've normally stuck to. They are high-end custom shop, just uh, yeah, built to order uh, bases up in the thousands. This is the first time that they've uh, got involved in a, just a slightly more affordable brand that they've you know sort of smaller, um, more affordable line made in the Far East and just giving all their kind of their vibe and their life mm. that they put into their their custom shop. They're trying to get it into a more sub one thousand pound base, you know. So this is what we'll be talking for you. Through, through today. Yeah, I mean, what's your your, your first impression, CC? Like? My first impression, I really like it actually. Yeah. I mean, the roasted maple neck, that's an instant win for me anyway, because totally. I love playing on them. Uh, not only for the look of it, but personally, I find roasted maple necks actually feel a bit different on my hand. I find it way easier to move on them and I don't get stuck to the neck, so. Um, I would, yeah, second that, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I keep getting slightly distracted as well, because oh. the figuring, on that neck <gasps> there is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice, yeah, you're, you're too, yeah, you're right. This is really, really nice, quite straight. I mm. think this is rosewood, I think. But oh, actually, it, now, it? now actually, no, you say that, maybe it is like just really baked maple, but normally it would be slightly darker than that as well, mm. you know, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Um, but these are available in both, so you can get some maple, rosewood, four strings, five strings. These are literally just the, the two that we grabbed coming in, the first ones we grabbed off the van, as it were. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about the same thing, just seeing the back yeah. of your neck there, it's yeah, like flamey as anything. Uh, love it. <laughs> love it. And yeah, so styled on a jazz, a jazz type, you know, as it were, but PJ configuration, so I, I do like that sound as well. It's yeah. got just something a little bit different to the, the normal jazz bass. Instead of having two of these single pickups, it, you've got that P bass split in the neck, so that does give it a different character. I like that. It's interesting as well, because they're actually Sadovsky pickups. They sound lovely, whatever, they're, mm. whatever they are. Yeah, I was cu really curious to hear them. Yeah, big, big full sound. Really lovely feel, I'm exactly the same as you, like th this satin, Satin finish is really, really nice. There's no no sort of rounding to the fretboards, but again, not something that I really noticed playing no, me then. Either. It was really quite comfy. I like these tuners as well. They're like the small kind of vintage mm. um, tulip, like the Fender ones, like really, really, really diddy, but really, really easy to, to use, really, really smooth, very lightweight as well. These are sort of lightweight tuners. Try and bring the, the overall weight down, just so yeah. you're not like, yeah, it's not getting too heavy down that end. Either. That was another thing. I've got a feeling these are chambered. I might be wrong, Ooh. but I remember reading something and thinking, I feel like that might be really neck heavy. I'm okay. actually pleasantly surprised that it's really light and not neck divey. Yeah, oh no, totally. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if these are. So they are chambered. Ooh, yeah. beautiful. They are chambered. Nice, <laughs> half the press, we checked. Yes, nicely noticed, noticed. Yeah, I can, yeah, I missed that, but great. So, I mean, that's something you don't get in say normally sort of sub 1000 yeah. bases having that sort of attention to detail so cool I mean it's not something personally I noticed with the I mean it just feels like a, just a nice weighted mm. base to me but um, that's nice to hear that's nice to hear so controls wise let me I'm just have a look here because I I'm learning myself I know we've got main, main volume this is like, like a pickup balance yeah. so yeah you've got the little uh, detente central uh, little little notch Detente. Um, so yeah, but uh, right in the middle, you've got both pickups on. Pushing it around to the bridge. What you'd expect from a pokey jazz bass. And then right around the other way, just using the neck. So this say, should be more of that, that P vibe. Is, uh, that's, that is a it's lovely P bass sound. Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm just getting lost in that a little bit. Clear. It's very clear. Yeah, that yeah. real sparkle on the top. 
So then I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, just guessing at the moment. Sorry, just bear with us. Treble and bass, but. Yeah, the first one's your bass tone. Or bass level, sorry. And this I'm guessing will be treble. It's got its thing. <laughs> Lovely. That's actually a really quite uh, usable, I think. I was that... going to say, yeah. Is, was that rolled all the way off? No. I, 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 if I pull that right down, so then... That is, that is completely off. just thinking when you were playing but now that you've rolled it all the way off it's confirmed it okay that often when you roll the tone all the way off things get really muddy and hard to distinguish but that one somehow has all the smooth hallmarks but is still really clear and i really That's like that true. yeah totally yeah let me just go go again that is like treble on full but bass completely sorry treble off bass yeah. completely on so that yeah that is, and that's both pickups Especially that sort of stuff, like, yeah. you know, unison notes or slightly more bigger chords. I know what you mean, that can yeah. get lost and a little yeah. bit sort of wavy, but... Nice! Sounds lovely. That is, yeah, that is great. And just uh, another little thing I've just noticed from the back. It's got a little extra cut out for your, for your hand, if you get up the high end, high dusty, the dusty end. end. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and an easy to remove little cover. So if you do need to get any in, into side or something, that'll be your battery. So nine volt battery, I would have assumed with this, um, but any other repairs or things you need to do, you can get very quickly and easily into the control plate. It is actually a nice shape. Like yeah. I, I know it's based off the jazz bass, but in its own right, it's a nice yeah. shape actually. It is actually, yeah. It's, um, yeah, I don't know exactly where they've taken, it looks like this, this top kind of horn bit, this that one looks the same sort of shape, but this one's a little bit dinnier. Yeah, it, it's almost like they've taken a jazz bass and made it dainty. They, yeah, yeah, maybe that's the, the, the Metro Express, I think these are called. So, um, yeah, maybe that is Express Slimline. Yeah. Slimline jazz bass. See, I'm not normally that comfortable on a jazz bass shaped body. I'm going to mention this because I'm sure someone out there has the same problem as me. Uh oh. But having a uh, curve in my spine, makes me oh, really gosh. offset and then using oh, an no. offset instrument makes it 10 times worse wow but okay. i kind of totally forgot i was playing an offset so i wonder Love if it's it. just the dainty body that's kind of cured that wow just interesting. anyone who wants to play a jazz bass style bass but has that problem <laughs> yeah i never even th like yeah thought that, that would of course yeah so if you're already adjusting yourself because because of that yeah, and then yeah. yeah get a slightly stranger shape base yeah. then oh no we're gonna this needs to be central then, oh, yeah cool wow okay but yeah this is really really lovely i think that's a real good good little instrument for for the money just a couple of extra features i'm just seeing as we as we keep talking through it but a little uh, string retainers here you don't normally get something like that especially for all yeah. main strings apart from the e so just giving it a little bit more stability up this end. And actually for adjustments as well, you've got the little rotary uh, sort of Allen key point here for the neck. So for the truss rod, you don't have to be taking off any covers or necks or anything like that. You can just go in here and adjust as you need. So yeah, oh, look at that chunky bridge as well. Just noticed a <laughs> neat thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm catching up. That is that is really, really cool. Maybe we've got a little contender there for the uh, yeah. the other jazz basses and the... Uh, and the uh, PJ specials, we might have to do a little um, shootout at some point, if you're interested. Let us know, but oh, I think I think we've probably mentioned everything we do need to, think so. you know, to cover, so... Gig bag. Gig bag, oh, thank you, Oz, thank you. It comes with the beautiful, oh, here it is, look at this, this beautiful gig bag. So yeah, for around that 900, I think these are the four strings, about 900, a little bit more for the five strings, but say, it's all sub, sub 100, sub 1,000 pounds, sorry. The coffee's getting away from me already. <laughs> um, but yes, look at that. You pay 
for nearly 100 quid for something like that, I'm sure, on, on its own. So if this is something you've been interested in, obviously give us a give us a shout or come down to the store if you're local. Come give them a go. I'm really interested in what you guys think as well, yeah. actually, because this is, say, new for us uh, as a company, but new for us, me and Cece as well. So this is our first introduction to Sadowski. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Really, really nice. I just want to say as well, also, really sturdy dials. I was thinking that. Just, yeah. yeah. But they really, really, like, feel heavy duty. There's no, like, wobble to them or anything. So they feel like they've been cast, like the Sire, I've talked about Sire, the V10s have mm. cast in aluminium. So they're actually really, really sturdy. Yeah, they're sturdy. not plastic. That's it. Yeah. So I think they've, yeah, they've taken a little nod from, from those guys, which is beautiful. But that's enough waffle. We'll just, uh, we'll have another... Another little jam with these beauties and hopefully see you very soon. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you shortly. Ta-ta!